Oh, and of course, I should do my customary wristwatch check. Today, I'm wearing none other than the Speedmaster First Omega in space. This, in my opinion, is probably... Now, you know, some of you might disagree with this, but this, to me, is the most versatile watch when it comes to watch straps. Uh, when it comes to... Uh, something to do with its design. It's just so classic that it looks great on, you know, every single kind of grain of leather, uh, all, all kinds of colours. Uh, it's just an all-round classic, really, really versatile piece. Doesn't matter if you have an automatic, the reduced, man on the moon, you know, whichever one. Uh, I really think it works fantastically on all types. Okay, wristwatch check done. Let's get on with the video. Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show and today I'm going to be talking about watch straps. Now basically there are four types of watch straps available. There is of course steel, NATO or, or, or alternatively Zulu straps, leather straps and rubber straps. Now I've covered a lot of these in videos before so if you want to see my recommendations, the differences between them, a little bit of knowledge into the materials and, and what exactly I would recommend and please have a look on my channel, there'll be links in the description to previous videos. So let's just quickly go over over the four different options. So basically, first of all, there's metal bands. Uh, most often it's going to be stainless steel. If you have a gold watch, it's obviously going to be whatever gold or precious metal you are using. My favorite is the mesh bracelet, or what is also called the Milanese. Uh, these look great on, on, on divers, uh, but actually, to be honest, they look great in pretty much most watches. Uh, there's different styles like a Jubilee, Oyster. They can really change in appearance with different kind of links, different kind of styles of polishing from really high glossy polishing to, to more kind of uh, matted. It's a really great way to, to get a different look on your watch. Uh, these of course are the more solid. The downside is going to be more heavier, uh, but some people just prefer the kind of robust feeling of a solid uh, metal bracelet. Then of course there are Zulu straps or NATO straps. Um, there's, a, there's a very slight difference between a Zulu and a NATO strap but we'll put them in one ca category. They're both invented by the British military uh, and now has really taken hold in with watching enthusiasts. They were designed to be lighter, very quick to adjust uh, for, for, for military purposes. If you had a diving suit or something like that you could adjust it easier over the suit. Uh, another thing to realize is that the way it's designed, even if one lug or, or spring bar holding the watch to the bracelet fails on one side, it's still attached to the other side. So obviously for military purposes, where you're really depending on time and precision of your timepiece, that's a huge advantage. Uh, but as I say, it's very popular with uh, just you know civilian uh, watch enthusiasts, and it's a great way you can get all different colors, all different varieties really brings a, a, a new look to a watch and of course probably what made it take off was James Bond wearing it way back in the day in the original Doctor No film so that's pretty much where it um, kind of went from military over into the mainstream and it's just been a go-to classic ever since then of course there is leather which of course is probably the most classic uh, type of watch band. Leather gives a really kind of formal, sophisticated, refined look to a watch. You can get it in a whole bunch of different uh, types of uh, leathers from distressed, lizard grain, crocodile grain. Of course every colour is available. Really mad designs to more kind of classy, sophisticated, understated. Uh, and it's a really great way to match a suit. Having a timepiece is very much a refinement. It's the ultimate man's accessory. Bring an even higher level of re refinement to that refinement, if you will. A leather really does the trick. You know, you, you, you're really customizing it, you're really expressing your own kind of personality and having fun with it. You know, sometimes a really garish color can really make an outfit pop. Last of all, there's rubber, which, I, which is the, probably the newest addition to the watch band world. There are a whole host of different types of rubber with different properties, hypoallergenic. Some people are allergic to certain rubbers, so you, you wanna look at that in a little bit more detail. I've also done a video at great length explaining the different 
types of rubber, what, how they're manufactured, and the kind of difference between cheap rubber and really high-end expensive stuff. The more expensive stuff is specifically designed to be more robust, things like yachting, sports, recreational activities like that. With rubber, the obvious thing is it's gonna be more water resistant, it's light, it's more robust, it's flexible, and of course it's very comfortable. Uh, and that's why it's, it's really kind of um, taken off more so with the sports and diver watches. So what all these watch strap styles have in common is that ultimately they're a great way of expressing yourself, of customizing your timepiece, bringing a new lease of life to an old timepiece. For example, in a moment I'm going to show you uh, one of the most versatile watches when it comes to straps and that is the Omega Speedmaster. This pretty much looks good on all different styles. And I'm going to show you how we go, we're going to go from this very kind of conservative band to something a little bit more uh, different, a little bit more refined. So it can really bring a new lease of life to, to an old watch. Uh, but not only do they add uh, an extra level of refinement, but they also can be highly functional. In a moment, I'm also going to include a carbon fiber band that is designed to be tough, water resistant and more kind of sporty. So a watch band, even a leather one, can be used for more functional purposes. It's not just being more formal and refined. So uh, I think that's a worthy thing to remember as well. Okay guys, so let's take a closer look. Okay guys, now here we are having a closer look at four options and I've included an extra fifth on the end. Uh, I wasn't going to include this uh, particular watch but this is a strap I got from last time that I just wanted, I've been, I've been really enjoying, so I thought I'd, I'd pop it in uh, today's selection. So, uh, let's start over here at the left with the Sin. I've tried to kind of match this, the, the band to the watch, of course. You'll notice with more kind of bright colors, like here with this, with this green, on a more kind of um, minimalist design, uh, I think that tends to be a kind of rule. So anyway, I, forget, I'm, I apologize about the glare, uh, it is very sunny and hot here today in New York, uh, so we'll do the best we can. So we'll start here. This is a Hirsch carbon fiber uh, strap, and we'll just see if you see there the Hirsch logo. Now this is a tool watch, obviously. This is an, actually an aviation piece. Wearing the gloves so I can brush off any uh, dust because we're, we're shooting in macro here. So we have this tool aesthetic to the Sin. This is the Sin 104 by the way. And I thought I'd, I'd mirror that, that color scheme and that style with this very kind of tool-like strap. This of course is water resistant to 100 meters. Now I, I wasn't even aware what straps could be water resistant to a specific depth, but uh, it's that robust. So if you, especially in a hot, humid country, this is what you want to have. Now this is the most expensive strap of the bunch for some very particular reasons. It's made by Hirsch, which is Austrian and they've been going since 1765 so they're really kind of established and one of my absolutely uh, favorite top brands for watch straps it's a high-tech carbon fiber style embossed leather with oval holes here uh, and, you, and you'll see the the buckle is designed to match those holes there there's a rubber inner lining which is stitched in with this stunning blue now of course the blue you don't see when it's on but it's a it's a nice little pop of color it's six millimeters in thickness so it is quite a heavy duty thing this is built really as as, as a robust it's heavy padded this particular one is a 20 millimeters it comes in a variety of sizes uh, and a variety of colors you can get reds with white stitching i think there's an orange uh, it's a blue um, so you can really have fun with it i went for the black and as you can see if we just do a really if we get in real close you can see that carbon fiber it really catches the light. I, I, I love how it does that. It's a modern look for a modern watch. It's quite a complicated uh, style, so you, you don't want to put it on something that's overly complicated. I think it matches the, the Zin here, 104, really beautifully. Uh, so that's $43, and I'll put a link down below. Quite expensive, but this strap is of the highest quality and it will probably last your lifetime. Um, it really would. It, you can feel the solid. Uh, robustness of that. Now moving on, next we have my Speedmaster and this is on a Dubert ostrich grain 
brown leather strap. There is not that much difference, obviously. It's a still a brown strap, but it's really astonishing. You get a whole different kind of look just from this, this beautiful ostrich grain. So um, this is Italian calfskin leather, ostrich grain embossed. It's a semi-gloss finish, so it has a kind of gloss to it, which I think really suits. Uh, you don't want it too glossy because then it looks cheap. Uh, but this gloss really has a kind of a richness to it, which I really like. 3.5 millimeters thick. So it's moisture resistant. It's a soft suede nubuck lining. Beautifully signed there. Ostrich grain, handcrafted. Dubert is from Paris, handmade. And the price is only $18.97. So, you know, just under $20. I mean, you're getting something really classy looking for, for under 20 bucks. I think it's a fantastic deal. And it suits the, the Speedmaster perfectly. I, I mean, I hope you agree. It's kind of a little bit more understated but very elegant, quite sophisticated. Of course, you know, Dubert do a whole lot of grain. You can get crocodile grain, lizard grain, a whole bunch of um, different styles. So I just wanted to, to try ostrich. I've never had an ostrich strap, so I thought I'd try something different. If we look closely, you know, we have these beautiful kind of little, um, little details. So really rich, expensive looking and, and remarkably affordable. So next, what do we got next? Now, I thought we'd try something uh, completely different. This is a suede leather green. This is made by Fluco, uh, which is a German company founded in 1952, handmade in Germany. And this is an absolutely, it's very soft, very luxurious for a light, small dress watch like the Hamilton Instamatic here. I think it matches perfectly. Now, of course, the green might not to be to everybody's liking, but you can, of course, get it in a whole bunch of different colors. So this is a really high quality, supple, uh, napped suede leather. Absolutely stunning. It's, it's one of the softest, most comfortable straps I've ever had the pleasure of, of trying. It's 2.75 millimeters thick with stitched edges and it's in a kind of lighter green, really to kind of just give it a little bit more refinement. It's a right, nice contrast with the stitching, uh, that lighter green. So handmade in Germany, as I said, and it's just absolutely beautiful. This comes out to 34.97, so a little bit more expensive, but actually, I must admit, it's very luxurious. It's so soft, it's, um, you almost want to eat it, uh, which, <laughs> which is a bit, a bit weird. But anyway, uh, oh God, it's, a, this, it's soft on this side and even softer on this side. It's really luxurious, I, I do love this. And I think, you know, with with a plain dial like this, I think the rule is to have something a little bit, a pop of color, a little bit, something a bit different, you know, because this is so kind of conservative and just really makes the, the watch stand out a bit more. Okay, next we have an American entry into, the, uh, into our four picks for today. Uh, this is the Hadley Roma MS85 Cadora Gray. Now, Apologize about the dirty nature of the watch. This has seen a lot of action. This is quite a quite a colourful watch already. So I wanted to kind of underdress it with something a little bit more kind of toolish, but equally kind of modern, just to give this watch a, a different kind of feel. And I went for this um, this Cadora Grey material. Uh, Hadley Aroma are founded in 1903, and they're from Massachusetts, handmade in the United States. So you're supporting an American company here, which is fantastic. So it's high-tech, high-performance, genuine Cadora, similar to kind of canvas or nylon. It's extremely durable. So for a tall diver watch like this, uh, this is what you want. It's also water-resistant. I don't know the depth rating. Uh, I wasn't even aware they had depth rating, but uh, it's a really nice kind of texture to it really really nice four millimeters thick has a kind of turned edge there if we have a look really nice turned edge quite rigid you're gonna have to i haven't even worn this one yet but um you're gonna have to really kind of wear, break it in you know it's it's something that's going to take a while but uh, it's extremely durable heavy padding um, so nice and thick we're talking of a thickness of four millimeters absolutely stunning i i think uh, i'm not sure if it uh, works well but i, I kind of think it does i think it's a nice contrast with the colorful nature of this this uh, squire here i really really like this and i and i'm probably going to wear it today and um, see how i get on with it so that cost amazingly this only cost 21 dollars and 21 cents which i think is an absolute bargain uh, american made extremely high quality robust 
obviously you can get it in a whole bunch of different colors um, but I went for grey because I wanted something a little bit un more understated for this quite loud squire here. So those are my four choices for today and I thought I'd add a fifth. Now this is uh, from Coloreb. I included their bands before but I just I'm so loving it on my Seiko SNA uh, 411 here, the, or the Flightmaster, or Flighty, as I um, refer to it. It's such a busy watch, and this is our, this is actually the cheapest watch I own. This this I bought for just over, it was about 120 bucks, and I adore this watch. This is a, a flight watch with uh, dual time and um, really beautiful uh, chronograph and water resistance, 200 meters. It's an impressive piece, all all in a 41 millimeter case. Anyway, so it's a Japanese quartz, and it, this really is my beta watch. But ironically, now it kind of looks a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more expensive than it actually is, just from the addition of this beautiful, beautiful Collareb strap. Now, this is Vera Pelle, made in Italy, Collareb Roma. Uh, and this is the Spoleto Stitching Vintage. So it's the Spoleto Stitching Vintage, and I'll add a link to this as well. You can order it directly uh, from Rome if they have sold out on them, um, because they do tend to sell out in Holborns. They are extremely high quality luxury uh, leather bands, and I love the distressed look of this. It's uh, as you wear it more and more, and you and you and it's only fitting I'm going to have it on a beta as, as you wear it more and more and it gets more kind of distress it adds to that character I really love that aesthetic so if you if you can't get it on Holbins Holbins do stock it but if you can't get it on Holbins have a look at the Colored website you can order it directly from Italy there might be a wait because they are extremely in demand they're handmade you know they they only can make a certain amount uh, it's, it's a small family operation uh, but Fabio there at uh, Kolareb is is a, a fantastic guy to deal with, and you know, it's it's a very unique. Every strap is different. Uh, that's what makes it so unique and special about the Kolareb straps. It's something completely different, and you know, no two straps are the same. And also, I just love supporting companies that are made in either the United States, Italy, Great Britain, Germany. Uh, you know, it's, you're supporting fantastic traditional brands that, that really have a high level craftsmanship and quality to them and, and really reasonable prices as well. This of course is the most expensive, we're talking about 28 euros 50, which I'm not sure in dollars, probably around about the $50 mark, but it's definitely worth it. You, you know, even on a my most affordable piece, it makes it look <laughs> expensive, but you know, imagine putting this on a submariner. In fact, I think I did that in an earlier video. Anyway, I thought I'd include that as a kind of uh, little bonus there. Okay guys, so that's my selection for today. Let's take it back to the studio. Okay, welcome back guys. Now, of course, all of the straps featured are available on Holbens. This is their logo. Um, I cannot recommend these guys enough. They have the best variety. They have the best quality. They ship worldwide. So. For my UK viewers, my Europe, European viewers, down under, wherever you are, they have worldwide shipping. There you go, guys. So I, I, you know, I've always been buying from. I've been, I've been a customer to Holmans for years. For NATO and Zulu straps, I recommend a different supplier. I'm going to be doing a video for that very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, also, I did a video on rubber straps and all of the rubber straps I featured. If you look back in the archives, I'll, I'll link it down below are from Holbins as well. So for rubber, leather, these are the guys to go to. So that's pretty much it guys. So let me know what you think. What are your favorite options? Any brands, any makes that you particularly like or you think I should take a look at? Comments down below. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to hear your favorites. Uh, also, if you if you've bought any of these and have your own opinions, please share. I also appreciate that. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Okay guys, ciao.